Hi, I'm Jerry Conley, and today I'm going to talk about what Pierce is doing standard on their rails of all their custom chassis to help prevent corrosion. Uh, today, more than ever, it seems that we're talking about corrosion on bridges, highways, cars and trucks, and looking at what changed. Uh, and something that's changed greatly is the chemicals that they're using on the roads today to help winter travel to be safer for, for drivers. That chemical works really, really well, but it does affect the vehicles. So what we need to do is find ways to help prevent corrosion. And one way that we're doing it is e-coating. On each and every frame rail on our custom chassis, we are e-coating that. Uh, that process is a very controlled process in an environment that is more than just a fancy way of applying primer. Uh, the first step of that process is a cleaning process. It, it goes through the first vat and it removes all the scale, dirts, and oils. It, it does a much better job at removing those contaminants than, it can, than you can with a rag in solution. Uh, the second step is the zinc phosphate coating. That phosphate coating is really important because number one, it gives a, a great surface for the zinc primer to adhere to. Uh, and number two, it prevents corrosion from migrating uh, if that surface was damaged uh, via scratch or chip. The third step is a epoxy primer that goes over that zinc coating. Uh, that all three of those steps are done in an environment where no hands are touching that piece once it's installed on the conveyor. Now that reduces contaminations. Uh, E-coating is a process that's not new. Uh, it's been used in the automotive industry uh, and the military, and now we brought it over to the fire trucks as well. Uh, in front of us here, we have several samples. Uh, these samples have gone through a salt spray test uh, for a thousand hours, each one of these panels. So on the first panel, you'll see it's a cold rolled steel panel, bare steel. After a thousand hours of testing, you can see it's very, very corroded, heavy corrosion on it. The second panel is a galvanized panel. Through that same thousand hour salt spray, you can see it has a white chalky film on it, as well as some rust colors. Uh, that galvanizing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, it, it's holding up. Um, it can be cleaned up, and, and it would look uh, quite well after it was cleaned. Uh, third panel is an e-coated panel. You can see after a thousand hours, we actually scribed this panel on purpose so we could see what would happen is if, if that film, that e-coating layer was damaged. You can see it started to corrode right on, the, right on the scribe mark, but after a thousand hours, it held up really, really well. That zinc phosphate did exactly what it was supposed to do to keep that from migrating. On the right side here, you can see you have uh, painted panels. So the same process that was done on the left is done on these panels, except they actually have a urethane paint on them. The first panel is a cold rolled steel, uh, painted. You can see it's scribed in the center, but you can see that is actually, if you look close, you can see that that corrosion is migrating underneath that paint film. We talked about the zinc phosphate coating. That's what's missing on this panel. The next panel is a galvanized painted panel. After a thousand hours of salt spray, again, it's scribed in the center. You can see that that paint is relieving from that galvanized coating. You see that white powdery finish, similar to the panel on the left. Uh, it held up well, but it, it is uh, not, not very attractive. Uh, the next panel is an e-coated panel, e-coated steel panel, scribed in the center. Same thousand hours, you can see that it held up really well. There's just a light corrosion in the center. It is not migrating to the sides. The zinc chromate and the epoxy primer is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So as you can see in these samples, the e-coating process really does perform well throughout the 1,000 hour salt spray testing. Uh, I want to emphasize that e-coating is more than just a fancy way to apply primer. It's a complete process that is in a very controlled environment to guarantee 100% uh, coverage by electronically charging that component so that the material is drawn to it. We also pre-drill our frame rails to ensure that all the holes are coated as well. Uh, and after the coating process, we will top coat and paint your rails as you desire. Uh, we also offer hot dip galvanizing as an option on your rails. Uh, and we do offer e-coating on our substructures to provide a little more protection if required. So uh, I want to thank you for your time today and I hope you have a great day.